What's up dudes, Max here. So um, got something pretty cool that's happening. Uh, Asus has been uh, a kind enough sponsor to send me over a 32 inch OLED monitor. Uh, some of these I've been waiting for a long time, especially for the ones in 4K. And I was kind of holding out on this one, waiting to buy them and uh, you know, until they became available. And luckily enough, Asus just sent me one. So I thought this might be a decent opportunity to give a desk tour. I've done some several things about, you know, this office space and what we use for Yo! video games, but I haven't done much for uh, the space in front of this camera. So I figured this might be a decent opportunity to do so, show you what I've kind of had from before and what is going to be changing and how Asus is going to be officially sponsoring my uh, my desk reconfiguration. So uh, here you have it. Let's, let's just back up a little bit to show it. You might notice uh, some crazy wires and stuff on the bottom. I am the master at uh, wire configuration. Um, this is the space I use right here. Mike is uh, supported by an arm on this side, which is, you know, very nice. Nice. Uh, everything you're seeing over here is related to this rig down here, uh, which is my stream rig. So the chat effectively goes up here, you know, stream configuration goes over here. This one right here is for my main rig or, you know, whatever we do games and editing and stuff like that on. Secondary for, you know, whatever, Discord or any other stream information. And, you know, there's the rig for that one. So yeah, this has been the setup I've had for, for quite some time. And you'll notice the main monitor I've been using for a long time, we can ignore the eye drops and the extra two terabyte SSD and everything. But I got this Asus uh, 4K monitor uh, around like 2019 or 2020, something along those lines and uh, maybe 2021. Um, but the idea was that I really wanted to get a monitor that upgraded to uh, 4K. This was the, uh, the XG 27U. Now, this isn't the monitor that they sent me recently. Uh, that's just the whole point of this upgrade. This monitor is a regular panel monitor. And the new ones that they sent out and made not that long ago are actually OLED monitors for like desktop. And some of these have been popping up over some time over the past like couple of years, but this is the first big one where it's like 4K, high frame rate and OLED, which has me really excited. So anyway, you know what's next? I'm gonna have to pull this thing out of its clutches. I'm gonna get the monitor in here. I'm gonna make an update to the desk, try to clean things up a little bit. And then I'll be back to report uh, and show you all what a 32 inch monitor is gonna look like on this desk. And especially when it's an OLED. All right, dude, so what's up? Um, we flash floored a lot. And luckily enough, I got everything unboxed. I got the monitor set up and Believe it or not, this is like two weeks later, like two to three weeks later now, because I have been using this thing and it has become a permanent fixture. Uh, at some point I was gonna test around with it because 32 inches on my desktop and the space that I have is uh, a little big and I was debating whether or not I was gonna have room for this thing. But uh, believe it or not, I I think I, <laughs> I think I've already committed to it. Uh, it's been a few weeks now. I've played a lot of fighting games and a lot of other games, Elden Ring DLC, everything on it. Yeah, I am gonna be sticking with this 32 inch OLED as my permanent monitor. And there's a couple of good reasons for that. Again, this was replacing my classic Asus like 4K, uh, 144 Hertz monitor. Um, so let me just show you like what it looks like even with a cell phone camera, because uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. So here you have it, uh, replaced in the setup, you know, there's all of our, uh, you know, stuff that we had before. This is the 32 inch brand new Asus OLED. Jeez, man, from like every angle, I've not looked at it from this angle, but just to show you, uh, it's a little bright right now, you know, just in comparison of the, the setup that I got running over here. But for me personally, um, it's almost too bright. <laughs> in, in situations where I'm in the daytime, I'll increase the brightness a little bit. But even if I go down here, right? I think I might even be at uh, 56 brightness and it can go up significantly higher than this. And now it is like extremely bright. I know there's a lot of concern from people uh, when it comes to some of these monitors that the nits or the brightness aren't specifically uh, that high, but no, it has not been an issue for me, especially, you know, even with all this lighting that I have, uh, you know, in front and behind me, this is what I primarily use to stream. Uh, and it's a little bright, but this is uh, more than enough. And this is in all honesty, way too bright. I'm gonna keep it this way. I'm gonna show you some fighting games just as an example, but I don't even run HDR with this monitor right now. And 
to be real, uh, the colors and the values have been extremely valuable because of the project that I've been working on. That project being uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and Beyond, which is a mod we're making for MVCI. And in that project, I'm like acting as many positions, but one of them is like an overall art director to, for the visual style. And it has to be consistent throughout all of our other designers that are working on characters. So things like color is really important. And I have other monitors that I'm using, uh, you know, for this project and other rigs that are making stuff. And I've noticed like severe color value differences on some of those projects. So I am like always defaulting back to this monitor because whenever I do color testing, I, I just think the, the values of how colors are like effectively evaluated just look way better on this monitor. And uh, that's now become sort of the, the barometer of how I am treating things and how it's like, oh, well now the default, the default de facto test of this entire thing is always gonna roll back to the Asus 32 inch like OLED. So it's, it's been kind of important for that and super helpful. Anyway, let's get some fighting games on this thing just so I can show you guys what it actually looks like. And uh, there you go. Geez, this is just the character select screen, dude. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, you know, again, my, my phone is only doing so much work here, but uh, I think Lacius is a good example. Let's try Spinal. We got a couple of characters with some pretty great effects. Uh, I don't even know if this video is gonna end up being in 4K. It definitely might, but yeah. So primarily I have been playing, let me turn this down a little bit. I have been playing, uh, for the most part, like a lot of Tekken, we've been playing some Street Fighter, quite a few other fighting games. I, I think personally, if you want something that is like the best example of showing off an OLED or so, in some way, uh, yeah, dude, Killer Instinct has like some of the best color pop. I don't even have it in HDR, like I said, I can probably fire up, you know, the other uh, versions, like the Xbox version to show it a little bit better. But still, like comparatively, how much the colors pop is kind of surprising. Now there's a, a huge thing when it comes to fighting game players, and it isn't just how good it looks, it's how good it performs. And again, I was really happy with my previous like five, six year old Asus 4K 144 Hertz monitor. Um, and this one, I feel pretty much no difference. Uh, no discernible difference. It might be so minor in such a millisecond fashion that I don't even know. But when it comes to the actual performance of like inputs and screen responsiveness, I have completely adopted this and I haven't had any disparity between this monitor and my previous monitor, which I really liked. So, you know, that's a bit different because this is a 4K monitor. We see a lot of 1440p 32 inch monitors, 1440p 27 inch monitors that are OLEDs and a big one that was like, oh, I kind of want to check this out is because we have a proper 4K, dang, that was bright, dude. We have a proper 4K 32 inch monitor. Um, and, you know, now I push it back a little bit on, on the desk back here. I don't have a ton of space, you know, in relation to everything that's going on back here, but it has, uh, it has now become a permanent fixture for my fighting games and all of my other development stuff on my main desktop. So that's about it. I have to give a huge thanks to Asus. Uh, I just inquired about this thing and I was like, you know what? I've been really trying to find one of these monitors and they seemingly have just become available uh, over the past few months because they were just sold out in the initial run. Uh, so finally getting it in here is cool of them. The fact that they're sponsoring the video, sending this for me to review. Again, my apologies if it was like, you know, so much time in between. I really wanted to sit with this and spend some time with it to figure it, if, figure, if it was gonna some, be something that was gonna remain a permanent fixture inside my office, inside my mainstream setup, like all of that stuff. And it definitely is. The thing I keep reminding myself to, uh, to say, because again, you know, I'm not a huge like FPS guy. I'll play some FPS games. Um, but the, the, the Hertz on this is really high, way more than 144 Hertz. I've seen uh, the control panel settings go all the way up to like 240 Hertz at 4K or something like that. So that's a lot. Uh, that's way more than I personally need. I think I keep my desktop and everything at about 120 Hertz and it feels great just in general. But uh, you know, fighting games and most fighting games that you play are gonna be running at 60. So either way, a wide variety and a wide gamut of games that you can play on this thing. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's already gotten incredible reviews. Like I'm, I definitely am the kind of guy that does monitor stuff, uh, you know, and it's important to me because I can feel micro stutters and differences between monitors. I go to events and I'm just like, bro, I need the monitor for this TV. There is a problem. Let me fix it. Uh, I haven't had any issues. I'm pretty much running this thing purely on default and it's been a fantastic experience so far. So if you guys are curious, huge shout out to 
to Asus for sponsoring the video for sending the monitor over. Also, if you guys want to learn more about it, you can click the link in the description below. There's going to be a link over to the Asus product page. You can figure out anything you want on this 32 inch 4K monitor. Uh, it's been a blast so far. And I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a substantial upgrade, because this is a substantial upgrade, especially for an office space. If you can support 34, 32 inches, uh, I personally think it's really worth it. And it's now, it's now not, it's not moving. It's, I'm not bringing the old one back, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you dudes again for watching. I'll be back with more stuff in the meantime. I'm going to Evo right now, so there's going to be a lot of announcements and cool stuff that I'm going to get to play on this thing. I'm really looking forward to it. Have a good one dudes, and I'll see you next time.